Welcome everybody on Facebook. Welcome, welcome. Excellent. Hello everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome everybody. Okay, let's do this. Welcome everybody. I would like to welcome you to today's session, open session we're doing on the, let me just make sure I see you guys in Facebook so I can see your comment. Welcome everybody, hello, hello. I welcome you to the new series we're doing as part of open, uh, live open sessions uh, within the world of Neurographica, within the Neurographica method, Neurographica practice. We are starting today to go layer by layer through the pyramid of consciousness, an amazing, amazing pyramid, a pyramid of consciousness that was created by Dr. Pavel Piskaryov. Pavel Piskaryov, PhD, is the creator of Neurographica. And he loves, he loves, uh, uh, he, he, he created so many wonderful other practices that um, I would like to talk to you about. I would like to bring you as part of this uh, open live sessions on Facebook. I'm on Instagram, so welcome to follow me. Um, those of you who are on Facebook, welcome to follow me on Instagram. I am, uh, my Instagram name is Lana Shalom, that neurographica. Um, we're doing something absolutely amazing, um, something uh, that would, I think would be absolutely uh, fantastic to understand. I want to tell you when I first saw the Pyramid of Consciousness that Pavel taught himself, right? There's a 45 minute video in Russian. Um, and the first thing I thought was genius. How genius idea this is, you know, how amazing, how wonderful, how unique how creative and how original, right? With everything that Pavel does is of course it's original. Um, and then at one moment, you know, after I finished watching, if I was asking myself, okay, so what is it about? Okay, because I do that, right? I kind of review the information, try to process this, try to internalize everything I learned. And I couldn't explain it to myself. I couldn't, I couldn't internalize it. I couldn't process it fully. I want to tell you, I watched the video at least 10 times and um, I always, and every time I, um, I do the live open sessions on the pyramid of consciousness, I've done it, I think three or four times at this moment. Every time I do a pyramid of consciousness video, I watch Pavel's video over and over again, because every time I find some new aspects some new nuances that I didn't notice before. And every time I find myself finding, you know, a new way, a new energy within the same pyramid. It's an amazing, amazing concept, an amazing uh, creation, again, by Pavel Piscario, which I think is fantastic, which I love to bring to, um, to the public at large, okay? And um, the last time I did it was actually about two, three weeks ago, and then I taught the basics course, right? I usually do the pyramid of consciousness as an open session, um, I want to share with you the picture of the pyramid of consciousness, just so you know what I'm talking about. Um, actually, for those of you who are on Instagram, I can't share things, but what I can do is I can turn my camera around and you can see what's on my table. On my table is the pyramid of consciousness. Okay. And you guys are able to see it. Okay. Excellent. Okay, I think it's good now, yeah? Okay, excellent. Um, and I do want to tell you about it, okay? Uh, let me see if I can share it this way, is it better? Uh -huh. It still seems to be upside down, right? I'm trying to figure out how to turn my camera on Instagram so you guys see the picture the right side up, not upside down. Okay, at this point, I'm just going to turn it like this for you guys, okay? Okay. Or you can just um, fix the video, you know, fix the, the direction on your device and you can watch it um, the right side up, okay? I'm going to turn it this way so I can explain it to you. So it's 
absolutely amazing. The pyramid of consciousness, as you can see, as I have just shared it with you, is an amazing uh, creation by the creator of the neurographica method. His name is Pavel Piscato, PhD. Uh, it's a creation of this amazing, it's actually an expansion, right, on the Jungian uh, creation of, I think it's also was called pyramid of consciousness, but it, it was not a pyramid. It's um, rather a structure of consciousness that Jung had. Jung had very, very simplified uh, level, right? He had consciousness, unconsciousness, he had anima and animus, right? Um, by Jung, we also have some archetypes going there, but it was much simpler, right? Conscious, unconscious, right? Within unconscious, we also have shadows and everything. What Pavel did, he actually went deeper within the system. He actually, you know, uh, made it much more layered, much more leveled. And the amazing part, why we actually study this within the neurographic method, uh, like I mentioned, I do an open session every time I start the basics course. And it's absolutely interesting to see that we're starting now because we are starting our basics course this coming Sunday. So as we're starting to study the pyramid of consciousness, it will be easier for you to start understanding why do we have certain steps? They're called the seven steps of the algorithm, as you can see in my sharing. You can, those of you on Instagram can see it on my paper right here, seven steps of the algorithm, right? Okay, number seven we're gonna add. Okay. And it's interesting to know that there is seven steps of the algorithm. There is a certain um, explanation. There is a certain reason why we have seven. It's not eight. It's not nine. It's not five. It's not three. It's not four, not six. Um, it's seven. And it's very universal. Seven is a universal number. Uh, seven is, I have two illustrations here. The one I have actually this one. Okay. Seven steps. Um, it's very unique to start understanding how the number seven is related to the universal concept of seven, seven days of the week, uh, seven colors of the rainbow, seven major planets, right? Um, what else? Seven musical notes. There's so many ideas of the seven being this basic major idea within the understanding of the human, you know, the human mind, the human world, the universe. And Pavel took the number seven and he went further. He went further, he developed this pyramid called the pyramid of consciousness. It's important to know that um, maybe I, I was uh, talking about December. I'm gonna bring you the other parts of the pyramid. The pyramid of consciousness is actually part of the bigger pyramid called the pyramid of development. And it's a quite amazing, okay, I wanna tell you. So the pyramid of consciousness is the one that we're taking and we're gonna use in relation to the neurographic method. Those of you who are interested in learning the method, welcome to join me, welcome to sign up, welcome to come and actively you know, participate, um, welcome to join, to start your journey into the neurographic method by joining the basics course, because this is where we'll all learn all of the ideas, why we have, how to go through each step, how to join neurographica, the ideas of conjoining, the ideas of the neural line, and you can see like a neurographic picture over here in the, you know, in the upper right side, right? Today, we're gonna to focus on the very first step. The very first step, and interesting, again, I said everything overlaps in our life, right? I have started talking about it in the other two open session I did on Friday and yesterday on Monday. We focused on the topic, how to set a topic. How do you turn your desire into a topic? Sometimes I have a client who comes to me and they say, okay, let's start, you know, what is your goal? What would you like to talk about? What would you like to focus on today? And that person will look at me and will be, um, oh, I'm not sure, I don't know. It would be a little, you know, like confused, not sure, not clear. And then I start talking to the person and I start saying, well, why don't you tell me what are your thoughts about today? What would you like, you know, what is happening in your surrounding? What is happening in your consciousness? And this is how it's related to the topic. Our topic is actively related to something within ourselves that we call active consciousness. Those of you on Facebook, give me a second. I'm just gonna transfer my camera so you can see 
what I am drawing. So you can see what I am showing you, the illustration, because, um, oops, wait a minute. Second, I'm just going to transfer, remove the background, improve the lighting, and voila. Okay. Okay, there we go. Mm -hmm. We have two stands now one for my phone and one for my camera. So sometimes they are on each other's way. So we're good. Okay. So again, something called active consciousness, okay, is what we are trying to bring in here. Okay. Active consciousness. Let's start talking about it. Okay. What is active consciousness? Layer number one in the pyramid of consciousness is called active consciousness. Okay. And it has to do with And it is connected to something we call in a step one in Neurographica, where we choose the goal or we discuss which topic we would like to focus on. It also can be some thematic idea. Okay, a thematic idea would be, let's say, for example, buying a house. Okay, so sometimes, like I mentioned before, when clients come to me and they start saying, um, and I ask them, what is your topic? What would you like to talk about? What would you like to focus? Right, a lot of, uh, I sometimes do other types of uh, um, methods. I use other types of methods within my coaching sessions. I sometimes use um, open opponent method. I sometimes use uh, uh, different uh, ideas. I use um, meditational levels, uh, you know, um, Hellinger style work. But most of the time I do use Neurographica and most of the time people who come to me are warm clients, which means they know what Neurographica is about and they know that step number one is always a goal. Yet every time I ask them, they start very rarely people like, yeah, I know what I want. People start thinking, they're like, oh, what, I, what do I want? What do I want? They're like, not sure. They can't focus themselves. So I start bringing them to their consciousness and it has to be an active consciousness, okay? What is active consciousness? Active consciousness is what's occupying our consciousness right now, right this moment, okay? Sometimes even before doing it, you know, we know we do a graphic and when we do step one, we always do a two minute brainstorm. Okay, sometimes when people come to me, they're not sure what their goal or their topic, and they haven't discussed this with me before, so I can't even um, remind them what they wanted to discuss with me. What I do with them is I tell them, excellent, let's just take a piece of paper, and for a minute or two, it depends. Um, sometimes I give them a minute, it depends how lost the person is. And we start, and I tell them, why don't you write down what's on your mind now? Just write whatever comes to your mind, anything and everything that comes to your mind. Anything and everything that has to do with who you are, with your family, your surrounding, where you live, what you do, uh, how much money you earn, where would you like to live? Where would you like to go? What would you like to buy, right? I kind of give them an area that we call life, right? That's called life. Life is about who we are, you know, all, all those aspects that I just mentioned. Active consciousness is when we start looking around and paying attention. What is it occupying my mind right now? Okay, we can do this again. Remember, I like to do practical exercises with you. So you can do this right now. I'm gonna get quiet. I'm gonna count to five in my mind. Meanwhile, you can look around and start noticing. The first aspect I want you to notice is Look around yourself and start noticing. What do you see around yourself, okay? So start noticing, that's part of active consciousness, okay? What do you see? Okay, one second. I realize I don't see the Facebook. Excellent, okay. What do you see around yourself, okay? Just the actual, you know, physical aspect of what's going on around you. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna get quiet for like five seconds. Look around, and you can write it down or just kind of notice yourself. Actually, turn your head around and look around. It's very important for your muscles. Remember, we talked about body dynamics. Important for this muscles, the muscles that are on the side of your neck, to be involved to be involved in your active consciousness. When you talk about active consciousness, work with your body, involve your body, look around. Okay, kind of write down four to five, maybe six items you see around yourself, okay? There we go. I looked around and I just noticing down, just paying attention. What is happening around yourself? Okay. What would be the next thing you would do within your active consciousness? What else is active consciousness? Active consciousness is paying attention. Remember, we're going to focus over here. Our favorite four worlds. Okay. One, two, three. For we know this, this is our reflection process, right? Every time we do a reflection process, we pay attention to our body. Or in this case, we pay attention to our physical surrounding. Okay. We pay attention to our emotions. We pay attention to our mind. What are our thoughts? What are we thinking about? And then we start paying attention to something. Some people call it the spiritual world, right? Um, but it's not only for people who are quote unquote spiritual. It's the world of desires. It's the world of our dreams. Um, I like to call it our soul, okay? And it's interesting to start noting that within the body, within the physical surrounding, uh, we exactly the exercise that we just did. What do you see around it? The word active is very important. Active consciousness. What is active in your consciousness now? What is so active? What is so important to you now? Is it body, the, the body, the physical surrounding? It could be something within your body. It could be something around you physically around you, you know, within the room, within that place, wherever you are, are you inside your house? Are you watching this in the park? Wherever you are, look around yourself and notice, right? I want the word window here. I can even write next to the window trees, right? I do see trees outside. There you go. And, and shade and voila, beautiful, beautiful trees outside of my uh, window, right? What else do I notice? And then I start paying attention, what are my emotions? And we can do the same exercise. I'm gonna take five to six seconds. Why don't you pay attention within your emotion and start noticing maybe five to six emotions, okay? You can do Instagram, you can see me, excellent. Okay. What do I feel? Yeah, just write down six emotions you have in your, you know, that you were just able to get in contact with, okay? The body is here, the emotions are here. Active consciousness, guys. What is in your mind? Again, count like five to six seconds. Just pay attention. What are the thoughts? What's on your mind? You may have one important thought, one lingering thought. You may have many few, few different thoughts. Just pay attention and start thinking. What is happening? Get to know yourself, right? This is what we call getting to know yourself. Okay, so just write down your thoughts. 
Again, very simple. Again, start paying attention, active consciousness. What is actively happening around you? What is actively taking your mind? What do you want to pay attention to? What are you paying attention to? Are you paying attention to your, uh, what is more? What do you feel you need to concentrate on, okay? And that's what it is. And all of this, we know we do the reflection, right? Reflection, the last part, it's always breathing in and breathing out. Just connect to yourself and start feeling. It could be a thought. It could be an emotion. It could be a physical. Something will come to you from within, okay? That's called an insight. Okay. Yeah. And I got an idea. I was like, oh, that's what I want to draw about, right? I didn't get to draw yet today. Uh, I had an amazing session with a colleague of mine this morning working with the Mac cards, right? And I'm like, yeah, I'm going to do an open session. Then maybe we'll draw a picture. But start paying attention. What's interesting you? What is interesting you at this moment? Active consciousness actually means you're paying attention to something for this specific moment. You're focusing on something for this specific moment. Close your eyes, open your eyes. What comes to your mind first? What's occupying your mind? What is taking your attention? Does it have something to do with your kids, with your spouse, significant other, your work, your career, your home, traveling somewhere, a friend? a relationship with someone other or a relationship maybe with, you know, within your work, with you, maybe it's a relationship with yourself. Start paying attention, start focusing. And that's what we say when we're talking about active consciousness. Active consciousness is connected directly to the topic and the goal. In order to understand what our topic, what our goal, what our thematic idea, right? Thematic idea would be a general idea Let's say you don't have a specific focus, but there's a general idea that you're thinking, I think I want to move. There's so many, you know, there's so many directions you can go from there. Do you want to move different town? Do you want to move to the same town? Are you buying a house? Are you renting? Is it a house? Is it an apartment? Where is it near? Where is it far from? You know, near to something, far from something. Near to someone, far from someone. All of this ideas, all of these questions. So important to start asking questions. What do I want? You always, you always start with yourself, um, ground yourself. The first question you always ask is, what do I see around myself? Or if you're working with a client, what do you see around yourself? Then you start focusing on the emotions. How do you feel right now? What are your feelings, right? Focus on yourself. A lot of times people start focusing on other, you know, projecting their feelings or something they don't like or something that they're not happy about with other people. This is not the exercise right now. That will come later on, especially when we do the... ARL algorithm, when we learn how to do catharsis, when we learn to take out something, you know, sad within us and bring it into the open and start working, start harmonizing it. Okay. But for now, focus on yourself. You know, don't start going into somebody made something for me. What do you feel? What's going on with you now? Even if somebody did something to you, how do you feel about it? Focus. Then you ask yourself, what are my thoughts, right? If you are working with a client, this is what you work with. Again, the focus is on the client. The focus is on yourself if you're working with yourself. What are my thoughts? You're asking yourself a question. You give yourself a chance to go into that thought and figure out what is happening here. Why do I feel this way and this way and this way? Why do I think this way? What are my thoughts? Just listen to them. Just allow them to happen. Okay, and then you go into the deepest part. Remember, the soul is the furthest away from the body. It's the furthest away from the physical reality we live in. 
Okay, we live in reality. The soul is the furthest away from the body, right? And as much as our body constantly wants to jump up here, we talked about it, right? Many, many times, right? We want to jump on here. We want to go right away to our desires and dreams, okay? Any person, right? Ideally, any person would want, I wish for, you know, for an ice cream in my hand and the ice cream appears. That's, uh, you know, the ideal way, but it's also a bit childish, right? Adults understand that in order to get to our spiritual, to desires and dreams, we need to work through our emotions, through our mind, and then we hear our soul. This is how we hear our soul. It, we do not ignore our emotions. We do not ignore our mind and thoughts. We actually work with this during the whole Puna Home Pono program, right? The three open sessions that I did. And then during the practical sessions in the group, closed group, we work through this. We discuss this. We figured out how do we work through our emotions? How do we work through our mind? How do we reach the soul, the spiritual? You called it the self, right? How do we reach the self? How do we talk to the self? Talking to the self means going, paying attention to your physical surrounding, giving your attention to your emotions, giving your attention to your mind, to your thoughts. And then you can get quiet. This is what meditation is all about, right? How do you do meditation during neurographica? This is it. You get quiet and you listen. Your soul will let you know. Your soul will tell you what out of this, everything that you wrote, you would like to focus on. Or maybe it can be, can be completely something different. But your soul knows where do you need to go? Where are you now? And where do you need to go? And then you choose it as your topic. Or you discuss it with yourself or your therapist, your coach, right? But it can be a thematic idea, right? We talked about it when I did the seven steps of the algorithm in depth, right? Topic can be many things. It can be a specific goal. You know, I want to buy, you know, um, a Tesla. It can be a general topic. Um, I need to buy a car. It can be a thematic idea. I think I, think I want to get a car, but I'm not sure. And you figure out. And based on your goal, by the way, you start figuring out what is the algorithm you choose to work with, okay? And that's the interesting part where we first focus on active consciousness. We figure out what the goal is. We start doing the brainstorm, right? And then tomorrow we will go, not tomorrow, Thursday, we will go into operational consciousness. What is operational consciousness? How is it different from the active consciousness? Active consciousness means we're looking around, we're paying attention, we're figuring out who am I in order to understand what I want. You don't understand what you want until you figure out who are you? Who are you it has to do with your active consciousness. Active consciousness is your body, your emotions, your thoughts, and then you get to your soul, okay? If you have any questions, um, welcome to ask me. You know, most of you, um, because today is an unconventional time, it's 12 o'clock, but uh, I know most of you will be watching in recording. You're welcome to write your questions, your comments. Um, and we are looking forward to more sessions with you, okay? I want to thank you um, for joining me. I want to bring your attention, right? I have two types of, two different uh, pyramid of consciousness here. There's another one, right? Active consciousness where we focusing on our mind, our body, right? Our dimension emotions. And of course, we get to our soul. Okay. This is where we set up our quest. On Thursday, we're going to continue with our second layer of the pyramid of consciousness. We're gonna start discussing what is operational consciousness, okay? Because operational consciousness will have to do with a certain composition that we choose to focus on during neurographic practice. Thank you for joining me today. And I'm looking forward to seeing you at our other live sessions. We have a lot of live sessions recorded already 
on the YouTube channel, Lana Shalom. And of course, welcome to join us again tomorrow at 9.30 a.m. I will be going live. The topic for tomorrow will be psychology of money. We will be focusing, the main word here is psychology. The other main word is money. Figure out which word attracts more to you and join us. We're gonna start discussing what is happening. Again, we will discuss more about them, but something that has to do with the goal, with the topic. How do we turn our desires, our dreams into reality? How do we set up topics and goals that will let us help us go where we want to be, okay? And those of you who want to learn more about neurographic, those of you who want to fully practice neurographic and start your practice, you're welcome to join the basics course, which we are starting this Sunday. You're welcome to join the more professional specialist course, which uh, will give, actually give you right to practice with others. Uh, for any of those questions, welcome to PM me and I will be very glad to answer you. Okay. Good. Let me say goodbye to you in person. Okay. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs>